Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you decided to stop by. Uh, today, I wanted to let you guys know we are actually able, finally, to reach out to Sweetie for another interview. I know it's been about two or three weeks since we last spoke to him, and a lot of things have been going down, um, especially uh, with the fights and all this other stuff, him running from uh, Kate. Uh, a lot of stuff. Lots of stuff. And, you know, he says he's working really, really hard, and uh, is that true? Well, yeah, I'm actually working really hard. Um, I'm driving all over the country, uh, spreading the word, the, the message that, you know, uh, I'm totally not a girl beater. I don't beat women. Um, and I think that's the most important thing, you know, Terry versus Ohio and me battering women that, you know, it's all people have to know that I'm, you know, I'm a legit good guy and I can prove it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty, that goes right into it, man. Um, yeah. So how are you planning on proving these things? I mean, we did see the video of you pushing Kate, uh, and all that stuff. And we do see that you failed at suing her, which your track record for court cases isn't very good. I know you file a bunch of them, but have you won any? Well, I, I, technically, I've never won a lawsuit. Um, but but I have so many. And here's the thing: I have such a big brain. The government just doesn't understand my brain because how big it is, how strong it is. Uh, I have such a big brain, and I have such a great vision. And you know, the government just doesn't know how to handle me because you know I'm always right. That's just the way it is. These tyrants, these pigs, especially Judge Waldo. Uh, ju yeah, that's right, Judge Waldo. I'm coming for you, you, you tyrant, you tyrant. And just, 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 just wait. I'll have a civil lawsuit heading your way, Playboy. But you know, um, it's the thing. I've, I've not won. I, I put a lot in and. You know, people are just going to see. I'm going to win so many lawsuits. It's not even a big kid. You know, people. I'm. I can't even speak because I'm so excited about all the loose lawsuits I've had. Well, um, yeah. I mean, you can file lawsuits all you want. Uh, doesn't mean it's a great idea. And I, you know, I know that's your thing. You like to tell people, especially police, that hey, you're. I'll sue you and. Uh, recite some kind of case law that usually doesn't really pertain to it um, because you kind of consider all case laws set as federal when the fact is it is a state-by-state -state basis unless it is a federal uh, case, which, you know, I, I'm not a man of law. I don't understand, okay? I don't understand anything about the, the law. Um, so it's, it's just, you know, just one of those things. Um, so where are you? What, what have you been doing? Well, uh, right now I'm in California. Uh, as we last speak, um, I, I just want to say, you know, I am actually like Jesus Christ now. Um, follow Christ, bro. Um, that's that's me. It's totally me. I, I you know, I'm going across the country, uh, and I'm going to do a new thing where I am Jesus. I'm literally Jesus now, uh, and nobody can stop Jesus. The, uh, when when the courts and the law think about arresting me they're going to be asking themselves do we really want to arrest jesus and that's that's my thing that's that's what it is i mean i can't help how good and awesome i am and you know i am i have holy powers uh beyond holy powers and that's that's just the way i am i'm just uh i'm, I'm just you know doing my thing playboy will you stop calling me playboy stop like, really, stop saying that. That is annoying. So you think you're Jesus now. And, you know, it's that's funny. That's funny what you're not. You, <laughs> nothing you do is even comparable to what Jesus has done. Um, which, you know, go ahead and say what you want. You're, you're going to say it anyways. Um, so we see that you uh, try to interview, intervene with a DUI stop. Um, can you tell me why you did that? Well, this is what happened. That girl, she went to jail because she, she wouldn't listen to my smart brain. I have a really smart mouth. And so whenever I saw the cops and it was like, hey, I'm going to do some tests on you. Uh, 
chick it's drunk uh, and I'm like hey chick don't 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 talk or anything don't do any tests or you know uh, and the cops would be like hey shut up and I'd be like fuck you cop I'm a, I'm the man case law case law case law you know you know that's that they, they don't understand case law none of these pigs do um and you know uh, that girl yeah if you if you want if you want to go out for lunch or anything just reach out to me honey I, I know you was playing hard to get um but anyways um yeah, uh, she didn't listen to me. She, she went, there was no victims. Uh, it doesn't matter if she would have drove like 10 feet and killed an infant, uh, cause she was drunk. That's, that's, doesn't, that's not a thing. There's no victims in this crime. And, you know, I, I believe that people can just drink and drive, uh, be under the influence and, you know, do whatever they want without any repercussions. That's just me. And, you know, I, um, I don't cuss, but I do cuss. I cuss them cops out real good. I punt them real good. You know, Playboy? Stop with the Playboy, please. Please, Jesus. No, not you. Not, you're not Jesus. Stop. Stop calling me Playboy. Stop saying it. Stop saying it. it's not helping your uh, record out for you saying that you're not gay. Um, it's not helping. Don't 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 say that, please, please. I'm not your Playboy. Um. So you you believe that uh, somebody can just drive around drunk or under the influence where they could possibly hurt or kill somebody, and you're okay with that? Well, yes, I mean, we need to get rid of these pigs and replace them with the transparency officers. That way, whenever the transparency officer pulls over the drunk person, we can be like, hey, stop doing that. And if she says no, we just let her go on her way, you know? We don't have to use our snipers or our pokey sticks, you, you, you know what I mean? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's okay. I mean, until somebody gets murdered, which I will help file a lawsuit for the people that uh, got murdered. And speaking of murdered, all these mass shootings... Uh, at the schools in Texas, Chicago, and all these other places, you know, I'm I'm totally I'm totally against that, I, and I'm going to file lawsuits for everybody, uh, every victim. That's what I'm going to do. Um, that's my new thing. Uh, I do need money, so I want to go at places where it's really hot, and uh, that's that's my thing. Texas, Chicago, you name it. I want to be able to help the mass shooting people do the mass shooting people thing. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. If if you're saying that you're trying to take advantage of a really bad situation, then yeah, that's really fucked up, dude. You can't really do that. You can't just hop place to place trying to put your nose in the business that it doesn't belong. You got to remember, you are not. You do not have a degree in law. You might have watched some movies or read a book or something about the law, but that does not make you an expert. If that is the case, then I would be a fucking surgeon right now doing surgery on brains just because I read a book. So, I mean, that's not how that works. You have to have training to do these things. Well, you know, you don't even know. Um, I, I, I was born, I was born a fighter. You know, I was born intelligent. People was not able to handle me because I was just so smart. And I knew case law right out the womb. Um, you know, I knew it. And I was going to sue every single doctor that I saw. Um, you know, I, at the end of the day, I'm just a good looking guy. And what I really, really want to say is that I love women and I've never beat a woman. Why do you keep on going to that? Well, I didn't. I have not brought up that once. Stop. Why do you keep on? Well, I proved it. I proved it. I, I had a girl that I used to date for for a very long time. She, we was we was friends and we dated and you know I had her on my podcast and my stream and she's like, no, no, you never hurt me. You never did this. And you know it wasn't scripted. It, it it wasn't. You can trust me, guys. You can trust me. I didn't buy it. I you know I didn't tell them what to do. And you know it's just a thing. It's just a thing, guys. I, women love me. All of them. Every single one of them. They love me, and they know that I'm not gonna beat them. Even though Kate is a dunce cap, you know, just because I pushed her and shoved her and you know did all these things doesn't mean I'm a woman, Peter. You know, I I was just protecting myself because. At the end of the day, I am like Jesus Christ. You know, p people are going to throw a stone at me, and I'm just going to turn the other cheek, you know? 
Speaking of cheeks, um, I hear that you have a lot of your, uh, what you thought were friends, walk away from you. Uh, okay, Josh Abrams, the Great Lakes Audits, uh, James Freeman, people like that. Kind of distance themselves away from you just due to what you are. And, you know, if you've done anything uh, through the duration of this time, is that you've got a lot of people together that normally wouldn't work with each other. Um, mm -hmm. And that's truly special. And we do thank you for that. Um, you know, everybody has a common goal of, you know, exposing you for what you really are. And I know you tried to do these exposés where you tried to clear your name, which they was really stupid. They didn't prove anything. Nothing, nothing there proved anything. Um, the only thing it proved was your ego. And, you know, I, I understand that, you know, you want to clear your name and you think you're that great, but honestly, it didn't work. It really didn't. People th still think, uh, I know you have your subscribers. I get it. I get it. You want that money. Um, but I think it's running out for you. you you're, people are no longer entertained by you for the most part. They think you're sad. Do you have anything to say about that? Well, I'm going to tell you, Josh Abrams, he's, I, and Kate and Blue Bacon, uh, Great Lakes Audits, um, James Freeman, um, you know, all those people. Uh, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you right now. I'm going to sue every single one of them. Uh, just you wait, guys. I, I'm coming for you. you. You don't even understand. If it takes me 100 years to do so, I'm totally going to sue you. And it's not going to be. It's going to be federal. I'm going to federally sue you for making fun of me on the internet and walking away from me. And you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to tell you one thing, too. Chad Gu, Chad Gu, that Ironton cop, that, that pig, whenever I come back to Ironton after my warrants crash, I'm going to, I'm going to lay him in the ground. You, you know, I, I fought with Kim Chamrock, you know, Chuck Liddell, uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Hulk Hogan, all these people I have fought personally. And, you know, they might say they don't remember me and there's no actual proof of me fighting outside of the picture of me being in the fourth grade wrestling. But, you know, what? I'm a great fi I'm a fighter with a great pedigree. And Tad Gu does not have a chance against me at all. Actually, nobody really does. But, you know, I'm not a fighter, you know. Uh, that's why I'm not coming to Ironton or Ashland or Kentucky, whatever, to sign any papers. Because, you know, Chad Gu's afraid of me. That this is it. They're afraid of me. And, you know, I don't have to prove anything. Um, you know, I even said I was going to fight. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm studying for my bar exam. Um, I'm, I'm just so busy and I can't I can't handle weak people, you know. I, well, I don't think that's true. I think, um, you know, what you're doing with the uh, not coming to f do your signing. I think that does really bad in your case because it does make you look like a giant pussy. Um, and that's true. That's definitely true. Um, Chad's been taking this really seriously and you are not, um, especially for the cause. This is a, uh, St. Jude's thing. And you're, you're kind of trying to lure people into sending you money directly so you can send to St. Jude, which that's pretty sketchy. Um, and guys, please don't do that. Uh, you can actually go to official means to actually donate to St. Jude's. Do not, do not follow his little ploy to have a portal where you can give directly to him because that money will not go to that hospital. Even if he makes a little receipt on Microsoft Paint, that's not legit. But why do you think it's, why do you think that's a good idea to steal money from uh, an organization that helps children with cancer? Why do you think that's, if, but I'm not, I'm not, I just wanted to give people, make it easy for people to uh, just donate to me, and you know, I'm really good with money, I really am, I, I would give the money straight to St. Jude's, you just don't even know, okay, and just because you're saying it, and I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to sue you for this, um, that is, that is defamation, defamation, even though you have proof of it, and you know, you do have proof of me saying these things, um, I, I'm still going to get you for defamation in federal court. Just you wait. Just you wait, boy. Playboy. I, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, playboy. Uh, 
But anyways, I'm getting sick and tired of this. I'm getting sick and tired of Chad Goo, Judge Waldo. I'm sick of everyone. And I don't think I want to do any more interviews with you because you're a dick. And I don't like you. And you know what? You're fat. And you're not smart at all. You're actually, you actually have no mission. You, you, you're, you're just fat and pathetic. Well, at least I stand for something. Yeah, I know I'm fat. That's fine, too. I know that. Um, I know I'm fat. I'm working on that. At least I have an idea what I'm going to do. And I'm not trying to steal money from people with your scams. I'm not doing that either. Matter of fact, when we have our streamathon, the money that goes to the donations should go straight to straight to St. Jude's. We're not going to have a portal where they send the money to us and then we send it. That's not how that works. That's that's sketchy as hell. Um, and yeah, you can sue me all you want. That's fine. I don't, you know, I, hop in line, really. Um, you, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Um, you know, there's this thing called freedom of speech, and you're, you know, for somebody who's supposed to be an advocate for freedom of speech, you definitely don't uh, work with a full deck of cards. So. What is it? Do you believe in the First Amendment? Or what, what do you even stand for at this point? Well, I love the First Amendment. I love the Constitution. I know every single law of the land. And you know what? The First Amendment should go for any for everybody not to talk. Except for, I can't even talk right, right? I think the First Amendment is only dedicated to me. I can say whatever I want. But as soon as somebody says something to me, I am going to sue them. Because, you know, that's just the way I am. I, 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 what I do, I sue people. That's, that's my job. I literally, all I do is sue people. And I cry about it. You know, sometimes I cry whenever I think about Judge Waldo. Um, Judge Waldo really hurt my feelings. You, you don't even know. Uh, I wanted to take him out on a date. That's all I wanted to do. And I'm sorry, not a date, but, it, you know, you're hanging out and stuff. Uh, same thing I wanted to do with Chad Yu. But, you know, uh, nobody, want, nobody takes me serious, okay? Nobody takes me serious. And I think some people should really take me serious. Because if people will take me serious, then, you know, I get more things done. But nobody really does. They Actually, people are catching on to my scam. Um, and I am a beta bitch. Um, you, you know, even though I created the word beta, you know, it's my own copyright. If people say it's using it. Trust me, I'm copyright suing you. Uh, and you know what? You scared my brother off the internet. Uh, Lyle, you scared him away. And now he's gone. And, and you know what? I don't care if you fight people on the moon. I, I will still kick your ass because... I'm King Spooge, and that's my name, and I'm done with this shit. See you later, uh, loser. Well, it looks like he's gone. Looks like he's. we ended that. I uh, don't think we learned anything, really, um, at all. If anything, we learned about his uh, ego being bruised, apparently. Um, I don't know if we'll do another one of these. I don't think he's coming back. Um, if he does... I'll be surprised. Uh, like I said, it's been about two weeks since we last done this, and I'm surprised he's shown up. I actually took time to actually do an interview, which is probably the longest interview I've had with him. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of thankful for that. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. Let's hit 1,500 followers or subscribers by the end of this month. Let's do it. Let's do it. Keep sharing and all that stuff. We keep on. We keep, we're gonna go. We're not saying we don't stop. We're not saying that. <laughs> That's not his fucking catchphrase. Like he can try it, but it's not. We're just gonna get there. We're gonna grow together. That's that's the catchphrase. We're together. I don't know, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Uh, have a great week, and I'll see you soon.